Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd, doing a quick and a raw review here of the new Young Thug and Carnage EP, Young Martha. Young Thug, Atlanta rapper, crooner, eccentric, Carnage, DJ, producer, no, no more introduction needed at this point, I'm guessing. Uh, they dropped an incredible single earlier this year titled Homie, featuring Meek Mill, which was attached to an amazing music video, by the way. But this song is one of the year's most insane and off-the-wall bangers I have heard. Like, the bass is crazy, and Young Thug on this beat is delivering this crazy cookie monster <laughs> performance. And... At first I thought it was somebody else, but like when I actually figured out that it was him going this insane on the cut, I was like, holy crap, like th this this is a little much. And I actually enjoyed hearing him go that crazy, go that um, animated on a, on a cut. Like it definitely felt like he was really trying to push the envelope there. Like Young Thug, his vocalizations and his vocal performances, they're pretty crazy, they're pretty insane. Sometimes he does play it a little too safe in my opinion and just sort of gives a stereotypical performance for, for himself. But every once in a while, man, and, and this track is an example, he just totally reaches a new level and just, you know, just just when you think you've heard Young Thug do vocally everything he's ever going to do, he just, just like, <laughs> wows me. And he does that almost consistently on every single song here. Like, if you want to consistently hear Young Thug be left field and be weird and just be as eccentric as you know he has the potential to be, you have to hear this EP. Because not only is Homie a great kicker, and uh, an amazing track, but the following cuts are equally as impressive. Liger has a great groove to it, almost has like this bass and um, synth pattern to it that sort of reminds me of like, um, I don't know, like a lot of Migos production, but uh, maybe Metro Boomin or something, but there's kind of a very sweet like woodwind melody in there that I like quite a bit. Young Thug is a little yelpier and a little more out there than usual on this track. It's very hooky. It's very sweet. It's got, um, you know, a nice sort of vibey energy to it. And then following that, 10,000 Slimes, it's the most low key track in the track listing here, but there's a seriously like moody and mournful tone to the song, especially coming out of Thugger vocal performance here that I like a lot like it's it's very much a sad moment on the EP um, it really kind of gets me down I, I do enjoy um, sort of the sudden emotional shift there and just how well the track is performed and then don't call me the closer on this thing Thugger's yelpiness and nasalness is just astronomical on this thing to the point where he's just like reaching into registers where he's straining so hard and like I, I can barely even explain it and describe it because it's it's just such it's such a like profoundly weird moment for him vocally um i love this thing i think it's really good i just wish there was more to say about it i wish there was more material on here like considering how exciting and solid the material is here like i would love to hear more from these two in the future uh, i hope this isn't all that we ever hear from young martha uh, as it were. I hope that this EP just ends up being a taster because not only do I think that Carnage and Thugger bring out the best in each other on this thing, but I do think this is legitimately one of the better EPs of the year. Uh, what do you think of this thing if you've given it a listen? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And, um... Over here next to my head is another Young Thug review that you can check out or you can click on the link to subscribe to the channel. You're the best. I'll catch you guys in the next review forever.